Hey guys, what's going on? Not only my name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Wouldn't this be the sickest Hunger Games map, like ever? <laughs> it would be so cool. I haven't played Hunger Games in like a really long time, but like I could just like world command a big dome to go over the top of the city, you know, from that side of the arena to about there in the water and stuff, uh, and boom, you've got like a somewhat safe. Hunger Games area to be able to play in. It would be so cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, anyway, today is going to be uh, the final Beautify episode, actually. Uh, we've got quite a lot of to do, so I need to sort of fly through it, but we're just going to polish up any areas that just need a little bit of work. The first one, I've got a list of them. <laughs> I do have a list, which is why we've got to work quite quickly. Oh, and by the way, look, all the trees have grown around here now. Really cool, got the sort of wooded up forest and stuff. They are the same trees as those, but because that's a different biome, um, they have like the different sort of green on them. But it's quite cool how it sort of then divides into the, the city trees, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I sort of like that. Oh, and can I actually... Oh, I can get through. Yeah, yeah, fine. I love how that tree sort of is wrapped around there. That's cool. Let's turn these shaders off. So the first one is this little spot here. Hasn't got anything going on. It's just a bit of plain old grass. So uh, all we need to do is stick some bone meal down. Down here. It just fills up. We ain't got nothing else to go in here. Nothing's going to fit. So I can't put a tree in there. Or not. I might be able to fit, stick a tree in there, I suppose. What about a tree in there? Not a lot of trees there. You know what? Let's try and get a tree in there. Uh, sapling. It's going to be a lot of treeing today, it's going to be, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through it, obviously. Um, I shall skip on that. Like, yeah, that's cool, a little tree there. And a little bit of bone meal on the outside. Okay, the second thing, so I'll, I'll chalk that off the list. Uh, next thing is trees at the arena. So I've got all these trees beautifully done here, uh, but this part is just looking a little bit empty. Do you know what I mean? I've got the beautiful bridge in, this, in the beautiful arena there. Um, but then we've got nothing sort of surrounding it. Now, I don't want to block the view of the arena. But uh, I do want to get rid of this grass. Like this plain grass. So, I think I can get away with probably placing just down that many and growing them by hand. If I do an area where I need to uh, place down like a hundred trees, uh, then I will be cutting it out. Okay, and then bone meal up the underside. So I'm not placing, I'm not making the the wood here too thick, because if you do that, you sort of restrict the view of being able to see it. But just that, see, see, that just takes away the emptiness, but you can still see everything. Okay, so down here, I'll just place the saplings down, uh, and then I'll I'll grow them off camera and stuff, uh, or I'll sort of let them grow for as long as I can during the episode. So I'm just trying to get a nice coverage over here. A little bit, a few down the bottom here. I mean, why not? So that'll be that a little space here. Look, Oop. that'll cover that front part up. I'm not too worried about going too far out of the bounds of the city. But if we could just surround the areas that we've built on, that'll be good. Uh, that's a little bit of a weird one. That's a bit better one. So I'm just going to go around the back of the uh, arena here. I should probably just set that to grass. Set that to grass. If I could spell. Must have uh, tore down a mountain here or something like that at some point. Must have been what happened. Or, or, or a hill or something. I do like putting trees on those little sort of lumps of, of um, little, 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 little mounds and stuff. <laughs> Mouth work, please. Because uh, you get like trees uh, different heights then. Look at all those chickens. Here, up and around the back. So I'm just sort of surrounding the back of the arena. We can tree up as much as we want because it's not exactly a viewing angle we use a lot. So I don't need to worry about blocking the view, really, of anything. Ain't no one going to be around this side. Like that. Okay, cool. So they'll start growing up by themselves, and ta-da, it'll be done. Um, I think I probably want to encroach a little bit on this log. The wood chopper's 
Huh? Wood choppers chops bits. I don't want to go too close, but it looks a little bit empty around it. See, something like that would work. And then maybe join them up to here somewhere. Up and around the back. Again, not too crazy. He's chopping them down, so you don't want a huge amount of trees like in the middle there. Okay, so that's good there. Next one, we're going to take a little bit of a trick that we just used on the real city world, the modern real, <laughs> on the modern city world, which is at the farm area that we've done. We uh, placed like tree lines instead of having it all fences. And I really liked how that looked. Um, so I think this fence here, I'm going to change up to a tree line. And in fact, I might do that one and then pretend this fence sort of went all the way through and out the back there. See, that's almost like one fence. It'll just, again, the re same reason as why we've done it on the, um, on the city world. Uh, it gives a little bit of height to these farms. They, they're very flat farms are. And uh, if you place these trees down instead, it just gives you that little bit of uh, elevation. So I'm being really hard not to bust a potato because it just makes it awkward <laughs> to have to regrow them. So I'm going to place those down like that. I'm going to try and stick one there. Okay, I can put... Oh, it's a, look at the branch on that. That's a, That branch is so long it's not even touching any of the other part of the tree. Oh, that's so cool. Doing these... Uh, I found that in the uh, in the modern city world as well. Um, putting putting trees by these farms for some reason makes the most awesome trees a lot of the time. Like uh, I have an old school trick that I've used for years of putting down five pieces of cobblestone with torches on the cobblestone to force a big tree. And sometimes they make really derpy trees, and sometimes they look make uh, like amazing trees. But uh, this farm one, I don't know why it seems to do it with crops. They make the f the f most fantastic large ones. Really, really do. Okay. I don't know if it's the I don't I don't know I don't know why. I have no idea. See that's a little bit that's a little bit of a derpy one. I might have to uh help this one a little bit. <laughs> Something like that. It doesn't look quite as dumb. It looks a little bit stunted. Um, but yeah, it's okay. So put this tree line down here. Okay. Oh, and by the way, people have been asking, AJ, can we have a world download for this city? I've never actually really thought about it. Um, I never really thought that you guys would be, um, oh, I did break it. Uh, never really thought that you guys would be interested in a, in a world download for this. Um, if you are though, let me know in the comments section and, um, I'll put it up for download if enough people sort of want it. Um, everybody should be able, should be able to use it because, um, it's, uh, it's not modded. There's no modded blocks. Um... So it should look exactly the same. Is it? No, it's not even a texture pack, is it? It's this vanilla texture pack. No mods. Anybody should be able to download this and see exactly how I'm seeing it right now. Maybe you guys can make it into your own Hunger Games and <laughs> and, and, and make it awesome for yourself. Um, or just use it for a survival city. I don't know. Whatever you fancy. It would be pretty awesome to use as a survival base. So I'm just putting the hedges down the middle there, just so it it sort of breaks it up a little bit more down the bottom half. That's really cool. So I knocked that one off the list. Um, done that. Done that. Barn. Outside the barn, I thought was a little bit empty. See here, we've got a very plain stone floor. Nothing really going on. Really easy to do, though. We're just going to sort of extend the interior that we've got to the outside. So I'm going to put some workbenches out the front here. We're going to get some more wheat. So some little stacks of wheat. They need to be, like, really small and minimal, though. Something like this. A little one here. Be a little bit careful about where we place them. That's good. 
Maybe a little pile sideways on those. Eh. Like that, I think is good. Yep, that'll work. Uh, some chests then. Anything else up here that might come in handy? Nope. We'll just grab some chests as well to go out here. Don't like that one. I like that one. I think I like that one. There we go. It just just helps a little bit here with the emptiness. Yeah, that's cool. There's actually a lot of chests in the world, so even like the Hunger Games chests would work out quite well. And behind here, a little bit of bone meal. A little bit empty, nothing going on, so we'll just sort of texture it up with a bit of bone meal there. Yeah, love that, love that. Uh, same as behind here. Which is the next one on my list, which is behind the stone cutters. So again, just on those little areas. I might I might travel up that path as well, just to see what's going on. I didn't really look up this path too much, so maybe I need to just bone meal. Yeah, I do, yeah. Just bone meal the edges here. It only, t it only takes like like ten minutes to do like to bone meal up like an entire city of this size, and uh, it it just shows a little bit more effort. Some people don't like it. Some people don't like the bone meal. Uh, they like flat grass. I can't think of anything worse than flat grass. I hate it. Like just plain empty. It it, it just doesn't work for me. You need to have texture. Have that going up there. I'm not going to take away the snow for it. I sort of like a little bit of snow cover here. There we go. Same as up here. Just a little bit. At the top there. I don't need to go any higher. I can go down the side here. Just down the sides of the paths. A little bit up and around the side. I thought I was floating then. And I think that's probably... All we really need. I'm not going to go up there because of the the saplings. It's going to sort of make them a little bit more awkward to grow. What's next on the list then? Uh, the warehouse. So we need to go all the way across the other side of the city. Behind the castle here to the warehouse. Uh, it just looks really plain. The dock area, there's just nothing on it. We need to add some chests, some wood, uh, you know, shipbuilding materials. This is the shipbuilding area. Uh, so we really just need to to fill it up. Did we do the interior to the warehouse? Please say we did. If we didn't, I'll have to do it off camera. Ooh, that's a dog bark. Ooh, dog go woof. Okay, so uh, in the warehouse here. Oh, there is someone at the gate. Should I go and look or should I just leave him there? Ah, someone else will get him. I'll leave it five minutes. <laughs> okay, so I did do the interior of the warehouse. Beautiful. A lot of building supplies in here. We've got cobblestone. We've got the logs. We've got some planks. Good. So on the outside here, we did do a little bit. We've got some logs and we've got like a rolled up sail. But if I back off, look, we've got nothing else. There's nothing else around here. Let's just fill it up. Get some planks. Planks are going to be a little bit awkward because we've got a plank on the floor. So we need to make sure we don't use spruce planks at the very least. So, dark oak and oak. And I think if we place them that way, it should be fine. So if we do something like this. Let me, can you guys answer a question for me, right? About, like, dogs barking. When your dog barks, does it scare you? Like, like when my dog barks, I don't know if it's because I'm not expecting it. Um... But it, like, it met proper, proper makes me jump. Now, I've got a relatively big dog. So, I mean, the bark is a little bit more scary than some, maybe. But, man, it's like, it's like the last thing I always expect is a bark. And my, my dogs bark quite a lot. They're quite barky dogs. Um, but uh, I never, never see it coming. Wakes me up no end. So I'm going to do a pile of cobblestone here. It's actually going to look quite nice against the stone behind it. Like freshly mined stone from the mines that we've got. And put some slabs down here. A little bit frugal with the um, with the slabs. Don't want to go too crazy with them. There you go. Nice pile of cobblestone there. Already that's just like 
filled up the area. Anything on this side? Is there really any room for anything on this side? Yeah, I can put like a, a pile of logs, I think, down here. Wood. Oak. Nope, I'm not going to do oak. It's in the building itself. I'm going to do spruce. We've got oak wood there and we've got oak logs there. So, uh, it would look a little bit weird. Or a little bit, a little bit too, um, too same. You want a little bit more contrast. So, having my logs on here will help. I think that works out very nicely. I think I'll have some white wool down here. Just a little pile of them. What about a little bit of carpet on the floor just around them? It's like almost like the unrolled sheet part of it. I don't like that one. I like that one. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. I think I like that. Yeah. Almost like like, like a, a pile of real of it. Uh, wool and stuff. And it's just sort of folded down a little bit. Okay. And then I think the last thing is going to be just a little some chests and a couple of crafting stations. Crafting tables. Whatever you want to call them. Like that. Oops. So a little couple of doubles, a little couple of singles going on there. Maybe a couple down the front here. It's weird how that chest just keeps going into the wall there. Uh, I should really flip it around to face the right way though. Because that's just annoying otherwise. Alright, cool. So that's that part nicely dressed up. And the last thing I've actually got on the list is my mine island. Is that what we're going to call it? The, uh, the little mine island here is uh, is just sort of dress this up a little bit. The, I really like the grass area. I think I'm going to make the grass area all grass. And uh, I really like the stone area. But uh, I think I need to put something. I don't know what yet. But we need to think of something to sort of go on top of it. Um, so I'm just going to make anything stone here. I don't mind this down the bottom being stone. But up the top here. Yeah, like up here. Needs to be grassy. I think that's sort of breaking into that quite nicely there. Okay, so we've got some spruce trees on here already, but I think we'll leave those there. I'm only adding oak. I'm not adding any other kind of tree, uh, like like birch and stuff. Um, the city is an oaky style area, and uh, you go too crazy with other trees and it looks a little bit weird so uh we'll just keep with the oak wood like that okay so that's good that's going to dress up that side nicely uh, but then we've got here now i've got the cobblestone entrance do we do we change like the top half of the mountain from stone to cobblestone would that look... I think that would look cool. I'm going to give it a go. We can always undo it. But I'm going to say... I'm going to say there... We miss a bit of that, but that doesn't matter too much. There to here... I'm going to try not to get that mountain either. Pause to... Replace stone with cobblestone. Now, I think the mountain in cobblestone form will look... Maybe, actually, maybe keep some stone in there. And stone, like a 50-50. Any, any other blocks that you might want to add. Gravel could look weird. A little bit of ore, 16. A little bit of coal ore could be cool. I have to make that really few, sixteen, but a lot, but not much of it. Um, stone brick. I don't think I want stone brick in it. Okay. That so that that. So I'm gonna do cobblestone again. I'm gonna do cobblestone again. I'm gonna do stone. I'm gonna do stone. I'm gonna do stone, and then I'm gonna do sixteen. Now must, that still might be too much uh, coal ore. Yeah, that is too much coal ore. But I tell you what, that doesn't look bad. 
mixing the two blocks definitely is a work it, it, it is good so we'll add some more cobblestone more cobblestone more stone more oh i can't okay look at that guy then actually that's pretty good that's pretty good Now, there's a little bit too much cobblestone now, if anything, on our original cobblestone entrance. I really, I really like the mix of the uh, cobblestone. Makes a huge difference. So I'm just changing up some of this here to try and blend in with the rest of the mountain a little bit now. Our newly designed... I think mountains should almost look like this in actual Minecraft. Like stony formations like this should have cobblestone in them instead of just stone. Because that looks so cool. Okay, if we uh, change up some of this now, get rid of the grass or the dirt. Even got a little bit of gravel at the top here. The gravel was already there, so we'll just keep it there. That looks really cool. That's a really nice way. A oh, little bit of dirt on the back here. Um, what do I do with that island? Do I just put some trees on it? I mean, it's it's sort of in my way a little bit, isn't it? This island is sort of in my way. You know what? I'll just put some trees on it. We'll just let them go. I'm not really that bothered by it. It's not exactly... Uh, a part of the city but it is here and it's probably a little bit easier to just tree it up than it is to remove it we, we, we know how well the last island we removed <laughs> went <laughs> oh that one i will just get rid of though i can just do it by hand okay i think that's all i had on the list to do this episode all of the beautification so i think i might leave the episode there um, if you guys know of any other areas that I've missed, just let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll probably add them uh, off camera. Because next episode is going to be an interesting episode. It's going to be a really fun episode, actually. It's going to be a really, really fun one. Uh, just to sort of really finish us off. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!